Hi guys, welcome to this video about what Movie Maker 10 is. I have to do some uh, research about that. The strange thing is when you Google for Microsoft Movie Maker, the first thing what you find is get Movie Maker 10. That uh, suggests a little bit, yeah, okay, it's Movie Maker, like the Microsoft Movie Maker 10, yeah, we have win Windows 10, it's Microsoft Store, yeah, looks really official, um, yeah, okay, uh, let's click on that, uh, we get to the Microsoft Store, as you can see, I mean, it's official Microsoft you go down and yeah looks like uh, official let's get the new version i didn't know that the new version of microsoft movie maker exists for windows 10 and let's get it so yeah stop okay that's not the case it is from a company called v3 ta apps whatever it is can we see more information here uh not much um, I thought I had found more information about that but uh, looks like this is it more or less I mean probably you will find some information so how but but anyway it, it, it is not from Microsoft it is from this third party um, yeah company uh, it's only on Microsoft uh, Microsoft Store uh, this is for me it, it, it's a little bit strange I don't like these things I mean it almost looks like Microsoft is part of this um, yeah it's not a scam but uh, it's it, 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 it's really strange so um, I googled a little bit the things uh, yeah it looks good you can get it for free but when you google a little bit more I mean you get basic functionality I can't remember where I did the research it's, it's, it's some time ago but, but I wanted to make this video before I forget everything uh, probably I got to the e uh, website of this company or whatever and I found that just really basic functionality is free it's not like the Microsoft Movie Maker uh, this is just uh, really really uh, basic functionality and if you like full uh, functionality and HD what probably most of the users will need at the end you will have to pay there's an in-app uh, I mean in-app buys or um, there yeah, I really tried to find it, but I couldn't find it. But I, I did a little bit of research on the Microsoft Store again, and we found this HD Movie Maker Pro Edition. It's now available. I mean, it's not very expensive. It's six ninety nine. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know if it's worse. I mean, it's one of the cheaper things. Uh, it seems to have good reviews now uh, it has a special sign looks like this is it's 30 percent off now during uh, the holidays 6.99 instead of 9.99 um, yeah uh, I, I haven't tried it i haven't installed it um, you know maybe that i'm using now the cyber um uh, cyber thing the uh with <laughs> uh, the the cyberlink power directory i'm I, i'm using now and that was but i was using the microsoft movie maker and it still works i mean uh it's a shame that they have removed it from the store and from the website and from wherever but i can give you good news if you want to know where it is i can tell you uh yeah i've been googling a little bit and you get to several websites and finally here's a link in the uh web uh how's that called like the web archive and yeah you just click on the link so you get to this web archive and automatically it will download i will also provide a download to my um to my dropbox which where i have uh, i have downloaded the um movie maker 
set up and I have produced a zip file and I've uploaded here and I will put the link to this uh, download so uh, I don't know how long this will be available I mean the um, web archive I knew it will they will they are storing websites didn't know it, that they are storing downloads maybe they didn't know that maybe they don't uh, store the downloads I think it just uh, the link which was needed and the file still exists on the original Microsoft site so it's just a matter of time when they will remove prob but probably it will be able to work for a couple of years so it's good to have the installer uh, still ready if it's not from the Microsoft site so you can download from my Dropbox um, yeah it's a little bit of storage but I don't use it for me personally the Dropbox so I'm just sharing uh, drivers and uh, other stuff which um, is probably useful to other people so uh, that's it for now I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time